Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy time back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new diamond Gus Gerard gameplay. Now, if you're wondering how you do get Gus, the man with the plan, I do think he is triple threat online the 100. Now, I did indeed see Gus yesterday on my account. Again, didn't happen to get him. So for both Glenn Robinson and Gus, I saw them both. I just didn't happen to get either of them. But here's the thing about Gus, right? You have to be good to get Gus. I'm just going to put that out there, right? Because Triple Threat the 100 is not easy this year. So you do have to be good to get Gus to ride. But Triple Threat, again, for me personally, is not a, it's, it's a mode I don't mind grinding at all, especially for a guy like Gus. Before we dive into that, if you are new to my channel and haven't yet, please consider smashing the subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers and a massive, massive shout out to the legendary wolf. Make sure to go follow his Twitch. It will be down below in the description for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. 6-8, which I like because then you can play him at the small forward or power forward position. His three ball is boosted to an 84. I don't know what it what got boosted, but it's an 84 three ball. A 70 driving dunk. It says a 40 standing dunk, but I've ran him in the pick and roll and he dunks pretty well. 89 ball handle. 88 perimeter defense, good rebounder, 85 speed, and an 85 lateral quickness. I'm just going to do something real quickly because these stats are scarily similar to this guy's right here. Three ball plus one. Driving dunk obviously is a lot worse. Ball handle is about the same. Defense is about the same. Speed and lateral quickness are identical. So I'm not saying Gus Gerard's better than Glenn Robinson. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying his stats are scarily similar and he is a little bit taller. Tendencies on 85 driving dunk tendency. Defensive tendencies for Gus are decent. I mean, that's all there is to say. 18 golds, 10 silvers, and 5 bronze badges. Gold quarter specialist, fearless finisher. Blue hands pick, dodger tiles, defender, slayer, finisher, bailout, set shooter, volume shooter, hustler. Does have 10 silver badges, including catch and shoot, clamps, interceptor, intimidator. Like defensively, he's got what you need, including bronze blinders, quick first step, unpluckable, as well as triple threat juke. There's a lot going for him. Now, you can apply basically any, I don't want to say any badge, but a lot of different badges to him. He has five badge spots. So you can really go crazy applying badges to this card as well. Now, looking at Gus and Shooter, and the first thing we're going to just see is how does Gus move compared to Glenn? I think his movement compared to Glenn for me is a little bit better. Release wise, I don't know. It's it, it looks fine. It feels fine. I just don't know if it's necessarily the smoothest release in the game. But again, I've I've felt I've felt I've said this a lot this year. I don't think releases are gonna matter as much this year. I just don't. I think his release is smooth enough to green, and that's all that really matters. As long as you can green with the card, who really cares? I do think it's quicker than a guy like Glenn Robinson, so it's just part of it, but it doesn't really matter what it looks like. If you can't green, like right now on next gen, or yeah, on next gen, I don't know about current, but on next gen, if you can't green, I, I, it's going to be a struggle for you because it's pretty easy to green in the game right now as I'm struggling right now to green. But overall, it's pretty easy to green in the game. I just need to speed my process up with Gus a little bit, I think, because I'm just releasing it a little late instead of just being right in that middle timing. And I, once I find it, I'm going to find it. It's not going to be that much of an issue. But you guys can see. I just feel like movement wise, he moves well. Obviously, he's six eight defensively, he's gonna be solid. I'm a big, big component of this Gus Gerard fan uh, guy. I'm a big, big fan of him, and I think he might be one of the top cards that you can get decently easy if you're good at the game in NBA 2K22. My team. Let's see what Gus is about. I'm gonna call him Gus the Bus a lot, just cause I, it rhymes, man. Gus and Bus rhymes, so I'm just gonna do my thing. Okay, I, I know you got silver interceptor. I know. I know you do. Dog. I know he got a shooting foul, but did y'all did see that defensive animation for Gus? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, you missed. My board. Oh, yeah, look at Gus. Uh-oh. Somebody better slow me down. Somebody better slow me down. Somebody better slow me down. Nobody slows me down. That's fine. I'll cheese you. You got, you got John Stockton on me. I'll be a cheese boy if I have to. Oh my god. That should be my Look at the D. Don't drop step me. It's a steal. I told you don't drop step me. Oh, uh, leave him. It's a dot too. He not no way I got a full right there. Slightly early, that's fine. Good shot. I wish you wouldn't have stepped in, but we live. Ooh, you got silver interceptor. I need that one. Charge. I need that one, Gus. All day to get it across half court. Uh-oh. Dot two. Don't leave him. 
Why are you leaving him? He's not the one to leave. Siakam holds it down. I like him. Okay. Oh, yeah, Jalen. Dot two. Dot two. That's a lightly. Mm, that's just good defense, then. If that's a lightly, that's just good D. Credit where it's due. I just don't know about his release. That's the only thing I'm not great with right now is his release. I like everything else about the car. Can you come and just come here? Like, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's just all calm down here. I should have shot. Yo, I still should. All right, let's just calm down. Come here. Get Glenn to rock. Come here. Okay, the Kembe, you can't guard me. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're going to, you know, leave him on an island with Glenn, it's over with. Yeah, his release, I'm not a big fan of. That's just the only problem I see with the card. Halftime box score isn't going to be that impressive for Gus. Only two of five from the field. But I'm telling you, I can see something in this card. Just wait. Definitely not in my freelance. And I haven't been literally all game long. But that's fine. Oh, yeah, into Gus. Hey, there we go. Pick and roll for Gus. Start to just get him going somehow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's boxed. Literally is boxed. Run. Come on. Come here. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh, hit him. Come on, one time, Gus. Bingo. Gus oh, the oh, bus. Oh. One time I need it. Good shot, baby. I wouldn't lie to y'all. I see something, man. Trey, back to him. Back to... No way I missed that. Where am I at? Slightly late? All right, I see it. Come here. Fine. Go ahead. Just pick and roll. Dot two. Into Gus. No way. Like, like it's just fake stuff. Like, he got an animation out. Thank you. I want it. We're pulling it. We're pulling it. Give me one, Trey. That's a good shot. Not mad at it at all. Scott and the crew finally got it figured out. Uh-oh, Gus. Run, baby. I'm not throwing a pass. Yes, I am. Ho, ho, ho. So Green deep, but look at Gus. Oh, my goodness. From way downtown. I just don't know. Put MPJ in the pick and, pick and pop situation. See how he defends it. Oh, yeah, Gus. Oh, yeah, Gus. Oh, oh my goodness. What just happened? To Glenn. Come here. You better hedge. You better hedge. Yeah, I was going to say, you better hedge. And that's just Glenn, right? That's just Glenn creating. Gus isn't going to be Glenn. I don't like that comparison. Gus is just going to be Gus, man. He's going to defend at a high level. And he's going to knock down open shots, right? That's what you can get from Gus. And he's done a decent job of that. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Siakam, that's mine. Siakam's tough, guys. I'm telling you guys right now, if you need a good center, Siakam is really, really tough. Come here. Uh-oh. That's a deep. That's deep. That's my fault, Gus. That's deep. Slightly late, though. Dang, Ty. I feel like I could have greened it if I timed it better. Oh, that makes me mad. I know he's tired, though, so it's like I can't really be mad at it. But I feel like if I timed it better, it would have went in. So it's my fault. Keep running, Gus. Get it to you early. Get it to you early. I knew it, dude. I knew it. You should have just stayed corner. I don't know why you crashed in. I'm getting a strip here, though. Yes, sir, Gus. Need it. Run. Run the court, Gus. That's Gus. That's because of Gus. Gus created that strip. Siakam gets fouled on the other end, and I need it, right? That's just the Gus effect. Here we go again. It's not working. It's not going to work. I'm going to count. One, two. Stop doing that move. Stop doing that move. You're literally drop step made. I'm not shooting that. I'm shooting this, though. I'm shooting this with Gus Gerard. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing if Spicy P is just sitting on that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I wanted to green that one. I wanted to green that one so badly with Gus. We got to stay up on Ray. Look at Gus. Look at Gus sealing it. Gus the... Uh-oh. <laughs> he is so tired, man. He's literally huffing and puffing. Let's see the free throw release. I'm pretty sure we've already seen it. Pretty smooth. 
green in that one. It's easy being green. It is if you're Gus. It is if you're Gus. Two greens back to back. Clutch shooter activating, man. And Gus is really hooping right now. Uh, we're fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Gus. You know what time it is. Time to secure your rebound. And time to warm up the bus. Gus got him up out of here. Now, I don't want the shooting to deceive you, right? He was only 6 of 15 and 3 of 9 from 3. But you guys got to remember. You got to remember. He played 17 minutes. I played him too many minutes objectively. But he was solid. I'm a big, big fan of what Gus can give you. And I'm going to grind for him on my account. If that doesn't tell you what you need to know, then I don't know what will. Now, objectively speaking, guys, is Gus as good as Glenn Robinson? No, that comparison is, is not a good one. You can't make that comparison. Stat-wise, yes, but just the feel on the court, you can't make that comparison. But Gus is a good defender. He can knock down shots. I'm not necessarily sold on his release, but I'm a big Gus Gerard fan. Say whatever you want about the card. He's a card I'm going to be grinding. Triple threat to be 104. And I think if you can pick him up for your squad, he's definitely a good get. But that is going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.